Hello everybody. Today's video is called Cool Chevy Coupes and we have some older ones and we also have a Bel Air Coupe to show you. So this first one here is a 1937 Chevrolet Business Coupe and when I looked inside I was surprised because there was no rear seat and there was no radio and there was no heater. So this car was uh, completely stripped down and if you think about it, back in 1937 was the tail end of the Great Depression. But salesmen still needed to get out on the road and sell their products. And this was the car of choice back in the day to do so. So uh, there was plenty of room in the back for salesman samples and, um, you know, inventory. And this car, again, was a 1937 business coupe. And it was repowered with a small block Chevy. So this was a like a, a 1985 or 86 Chevrolet V8, which meant that, you know, it would be more reliable and dependable from, you know, for cruising around, uh, you know, car shows. And there is no way you would want to have a six volt system in a modern car. Um, and this car was also upgraded to the 12 volt system and a, you know, small block Chevy V8. So this was a great example of a 1937 Chevy business coupe. And moving on, we have a 1952 Chevy coupe. And this is um, also modernized for, you know, enjoyable cruising. And all of the chrome was redone on this car and the owner wasn't around the vehicle, but I wanted to find out how much something like that would cost because look at this chrome bumper and and the and the chrome grill and all this trim was re-chromed must have cost a pretty penny and also on this vehicle uh you know focusing on the uh comfortable cruising he had a he had a solid chrome ac compressor installed on the vehicle so in florida this is a must i mean if you don't have air conditioning on your show car well, then you're going to flatbed that thing to shows, you know, or they better, those shows better be close by because it's just miserable driving a car in the Florida heat without air conditioning. So this was a real clean example of, a, of the 52 coupe. And I like the red with the white top. And um, it had, you know, American racing wheels and dual exhaust, which of course you wouldn't find on the original. Uh, but this was a really sweet vehicle. And you have to remember back in 1952, they were competing with the 51 and 52 Merc. And these cars were best sellers. This was a time when the Mercury was ruling the roost. So this was Chevy's attempt at competing with the Mercury's of the day. And this car it makes all of the, every car show I go to, I see this vehicle and I usually uh, skip by it because I've seen it so many times, but I realized that, Hey, you know, I got to show this one to our viewers. So moving on, this car was for sale and this is a 61 Chevy Bel Air coupe. And there was no price on it. And the gentleman would not actually give me a price because he could tell that I, I was not going to, I was not a buyer. So, but I'll read the sign to you. And he says that this is one of the last Bel Airs built in February on February 18th in 1961. And that this car is also a radio delete, heater delete, trim delete, sound deadener delete. So this car was built for, you know, drag racing. It was a purpose built car built for drag racing. And that he is the original owner of the car and that it was repowered by the dealer. And he basically, he blew up the original 409 and took it to the dealership and they replaced it under warranty and he has all of the paperwork. But the problem with this vehicle is that it's no longer a numbers matching, engine numbers matching vehicle. So he is constantly having to stick up for his own car because it has a dealer installed 409. Uh, it also had the Borg Warner T10 four speed and 411 gears. So again, purpose built, <clears throat> excuse me, purpose built car to go a quarter mile at a time with a 411 gear ratio. This car is for drag racing. So he says that it's for sale. 
and the price is expensive. So uh, it was a really nice looking car and you can see that it had none of the side trim and without the sound deadening material, I'm sure that this vehicle made a racket going down the road. But still a fun car to say the least with a 409 four speed all factory. So our final car is a 1952 Chevy Deluxe and this is also a black car and this was again meant to compete with the Mercury's of the time and the Deluxe had a special chrome grill and a little more chrome trim and you can see it had the hideaway wheel wells with also uh, chrome trim all along the sides of the car and you know chrome trim wherever they could find a place to put trim so this was another cool Chevy coupe from the car show and that was black with the red interior is striking and it also had the uh, of course this was not factory but they painted the uh, powder coated the wheels in a red color so this was the black and red 52 and it was a sharp looking car so this weekend I'm heading to another car show and I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button. Please give me a thumbs up if you could and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notifications on new car show videos coming up this month. Thank you.